Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike from TechniqueTV.com and today Microsoft has released the Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and if you don't know what a Service Pack is well, there have been three for Windows XP and I believe two for Windows Vista. Basically, it's just a giant update to the operating system and it includes security patches and bug fixes among sometimes other features. Unfortunately, with the Windows 7 Service Pack 1, there are no new features, but you get some bug fixes and security patches. Yay! So, in the Windows 7 Service Pack 1, the patches will be uh, a fix to some random system freezes that can occur, <clears throat> issues with 64-bit compatibility, Windows Media Player freezing, issues with printing, fake low battery warnings on mobile computers such as laptops and maybe tablets if you have one, uh, poor disk read and write performance, Internet Explorer 8 crashing, yeah I know, who cares, no one uses Internet Explorer, um, slow network performance, and some issues with Bluetooth. I've also heard that there has been a fix to HDMI audio performance. I myself have never experienced any issues with it so far, but whatever, a fix can always be good, I guess. If you are using Windows 7 uh, Server Edition, you do get two new features, though. They will both assist with virtualization, such as uh, virtualizing different OSs, they are Remote FX, which should help with client-side virtualization, at least from what I read. And you also get Dynamic Memory, which helps efficiently use the RAM on the server. So, if you are not sure how to install a service pack yet, I will show you right now. Alright everyone, so to install the Windows 7 Service Pack 1, first you're going to want to go to your Start menu. You're going to want to click Control Panel. Your Control Panel will open. Now, if you are not already in the large icon view, you'll want to press View by Category. A drop-down menu will appear and click Large Icons. Now, you'll want to click Windows Update. And now you're going to want to click check for updates. Windows updates will now check to see if there's any updates. <laughs> okay. Now you'll see updates are available for your computer. Uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1 will not be in the optional updates. It will be in the important update. And you'll see here Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for x64 based systems. The x64 is just because I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows 7. And what you'll want to do is check the Windows 7 Service Pack 1 update, and then you'll want to press OK. Now you'll see that it says one important update selected, 73.6 megabytes to 892.6 megabytes, which is almost a gigabyte in size. I don't believe you will need all 892.6 megabytes if you already have most of the updates for Windows 7 up to this point because the Service Pack 1 just includes all the previous updates as well. So hopefully this won't be too big for me. You'll want to press install updates when you're ready. And now Windows should start to download the update. And I do believe that you will be asked to restart the computer about halfway through Windows installing the Service Pack 1. I'm not completely sure. This is the first time I have installed Service Pack 1. Uh, with Windows XP, I do believe that I had to restart the computer quite a few times when installing those Service Packs. So if this is anything like that was, you, you'll probably have to restart a few times. So I hope this helps you, and I hope you now know enough about Windows 7 Service Pack 1 to want to install it. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos. See ya!